the world sits in the balance. Everything has a beginning. Everything has an end. That is just the way it is. that from over here. Lara. Lara! What? Must you insist on having that so loud? You'll be deaf by the time you're 30, dear. You could have at least let me save it. You're 17. Well, maybe people should start treating me like that. I mean, how many 17-year-olds do you know have their mother take them on an extreme skiing holiday? You know your father. Either I came along or no trip. I'd be fortunate for that. It's just the way that it is. Ah, oh, so I should be grateful. Well, there really was no point in going at all. Well, there are three days and he's already reeling us back because of another pathetic discovery. Look, I know it's difficult for you to understand, but with time... You may thank your father for his dedication. Dedication? I just can't understand why I have to be part of all this. And why can't he get us a decent plane? I mean, look at this thing. It feels as though it's about to drop out of the sky. Would you rather walk? I would, actually. It's the Himalayas, Lara. It wouldn't last five minutes. But be my guest. I'll ask them to land over there. Shouldn't be that close. Don't worry, Lara. They found the wreckage a week before they found you. If I had stayed there, I'd be dead too. There wasn't much time to get out. Your mother, was she already? Yes. They found you in a little village just over the Tibetan border. You were holding this. St. Christopher. Didn't do us much good in the end. You spent two weeks in one of the most inhospitable places on the planet, Lara. Somebody saved you. Well, it wasn't him. We wouldn't have even been on that plane if it wasn't for you. Angel, don't say that, please. Stop calling me that. This family's done nothing but answer to you. All that mattered was the next hole you squeezed through. Mother came second, I came third. That was always the way. I never wanted this life. I supposed to look inside my heart and become an individual when you just want me to be a clone of you? This is not you talking, Lara. It is now. You may blame me all you like, but it was not me who wanted to take that trip, Lara. Perhaps you might like to think about that. Developed a fear of disorientation. It seems no matter how long she spends in one place, after a certain amount of time, she starts to panic. 
a feeling of becoming lost. But she knows where she is. We can't leave her on her own for any more than a few minutes. At this moment, she needs people around her. She doesn't want me. I can say that. She will make a full recovery, physically, I'm certain. She's a strong girl. With regards to her mental health, you have to come to terms with the fact that these effects could be permanent. Lord Croft. Lady Croft. Hello, Winston. Oh, it's so good to see you, my dear. And you. Mm, I hope you won't be driving that to the funeral. It was on sale. The girl just can't resist a bargain. American imports. You sleep yet? No. I've got a present for you. What is it? Have you finished that yet? No. Will they ever find their way out, Daddy? Maybe. But I think it might ruin the end if I told you. When you're exploring, don't you worry if you get lost? All the time. It doesn't stop me. If I get lost, I just look to the stars. What if you're in a cave or it's cloudy? Then I follow water. Water always leads somewhere. Usually to sanctuary. Now, where have you got to in that book? Lady Croft, there are three dining rooms in this house. Why must you insist on eating in the kitchen? Winston, you really don't have to call me Lady Croft anymore. I feel like I'm 15, or my mother. That's just the way it is, I'm afraid. Here is some post for you. For me? Your Uncle Errol has made arrangements for the funeral. So, are we burying him or cremating him? Lady Croft. I'm serious, Winston. I mean, don't you need a body to have a funeral? Your father has been missing for nearly three years. Your uncle is quite right. It is time for some closure. I think that after the funeral... I'm not going. I beg your pardon? My father isn't dead, Winston. And if this funeral is about closure, then I'd rather not be a part of it. I need to find my own closure. And how exactly do you propose to do that? I'm thinking about it.
Put your hands where I can see them and drop to your knees. Drop to your knees. Like this? Hand. Drop to your knees Hand. now. What did you do wrong? Put your hands up! What did you do wrong? I let you get too close. Before that. Two guns, Sahara. Two guns are always better than one. You know, trust me. If we weren't firing blanks, you'd be dead. Fine today, Croft, huh? I knocked out of Philly. <laughs> Four years, the first time you've done any damage. Lady Croft, it's your Uncle Errol. He's... He's... He's here, yes, I can see that, Winston. I did try to persuade him to come back at a more appropriate time, but he is a very persistent fellow. Perhaps this would be a good time for you to show Jack to his room and set up the network for PC. Certainly, Lady Croft. Mr. Jackson, please follow me. <sighs> nice tie. I thought the funeral wasn't until Sunday. Still playing soldiers, I see. No hug. You know, there was a time when Uncle Errol came to visit, little Lara Croft would come running up and wrap her arms and legs around him. If Lara Croft does that to you these days, the chances are you've done something to make her angry. Also, I've heard. Still, I'm sure your father would be very proud. It's comforting to see you're surrounding yourself with company. How is your uh, condition? I read the letter from the solicitors. Oh, don't take it personally, dear. It's just what the Croft family wants. And what is that, precisely? You are the youngest Croft, and the last to continue the seed. But not the name. I have things I need to attend to. If your father had gotten what he wanted, maybe we would not be stood here having this discussion. And what was that? The same as all Crofts. To continue the name that's been in this house for hundreds of years. Something your father knew that his little girl would not be able to continue. After you, they did try for a boy, but, well, your father was always rather quick to give up. He never gave up on me. Richard Croft was not the man to find you in those mountains, Lara. It was me. How? My team followed a trail from the crash site. You'd managed to seek refuge in a cave. You weren't conscious, far from it. You were taken to a tiny village, and from there, your father was informed of your whereabouts. You really don't remember. Dear girl, 
your father would not risk his life four years ago searching for you. However, he was prepared to die for whatever he was looking for in Cambodia. How I found you is irrelevant here, really. Maybe you should consider what is more important to a man than his daughter's life. Perhaps we will continue this discussion after the funeral. Good day, Laura. Sky, December the 21st, 2012. This black mass here represents the sun, and this dotted line represents the galactic equator. You see, the Milky Way runs in a north-south direction when seen in the night sky, the planets and the sun moving in an east-westly direction, the sacred tree, the point where the sun effectively crosses the galactic equator. It's also when the Mayan calendar the long count ends. The sky turns black, day turns to night, poles shift possibly. An interesting theory, and one of many actually. Yeah, I googled it. Uh, see, for many years the location of the 2012 winter solstice has been moving towards the heart of our galaxy. Look out of your window and you can see the changes happening already. Yes, but that's climate change. Decades of man pumping toxic fumes into our atmosphere and no one doing anything about it. Says she, driving the proverbial gas guzzler outside. When change occurs, people can only feel comfortable with that change by understanding it. Scientifically, we can explain global warming and relate it to the effects on our planet. You didn't Google that, did you? Winston, are you throwing something on the grounds that I need to know about? Ah. Uh, your father and I spent many a long night discussing this over a fine wine. Oh, that'll be it. My father, his stories and alcohol, that'll work. You see, everything sits in a balance. For every right, there is a wrong. Yes, yes, karma, yin and yang, black and white. Good and evil. And the same can be said for the universe. The stars, the planets, the gases in the air. The very reason we don't burn to a cinder from the sun's rays every day is because of balance. Every man has his holy grail. Your father made some very influential discoveries with his digs, but this, this is what drove him, perhaps to his death. So what was he looking for? Oh, Winston, since when did you enter the digital age? Tomb Raider. The Ascension Stone. It says here that Father believed this to be the key to understanding the truth behind 2012. But the path of the stars is set. Something this big can't be prevented by anyone or anything. But until that something or someone comes along, we can prepare. There is time. For what? To save the world? Absolutely. Your father believed that unlocking the Ascension Stone's power, at the very least, would help man understand how to ascend and become citizens of the universe. This was his life's work, my dear. Why didn't he tell me how important this all was? Because telling a 17-year-old girl that she might not see her 30th birthday is not that easy, my dear. Especially when you love her so dearly. Whatever animosity there was between you and your father, you must know that, despite your indifference, he loved you very much. Do you think he can ever forgive me? Your father forgave you a long time ago. It is not he who needs to forgive. Uncle Errol, what does he know? Just as much. Although very close, your father and his brother were rivals in their field. On a number of occasions, Errol claimed your father had capitalized on his discoveries. It did grow quite bitter at times. 
This photo, it's maybe 70 years old, so someone must have discovered it before. Yes. If I remember correctly, it was a miner who discovered it and brought it back from Mexico. Arthur Hemming, that's the fellow. On his return to England, he opened an iron mine here. Unfortunately, the cave collapsed during an explosion and everyone was buried alive, along with the ascension stone, presumably. Well, why have it down there with him anyway? He hid it. It seems something happened on the way back from Mexico through Bermuda. It made him incredibly scared of its power and he vowed to bury it as deeply as humanly possible. Seems he got his wish, poor chap. Winston, are you sure this artifact is supposed to save the world? It looks a tad destructive to me. Any power in the wrong hands can cause catastrophe, my dear. So has anyone tried looking for it? A handful. But that cave system runs for thousands of feet into the ground. You could search for years and still come up with nothing. My father try? No, strangely enough. However, Errol was obsessed with the place. But even he still managed to come up with nothing. I need to get reading. And I'll make a cup of tea. This isn't a stag, it's a heart. Kettle's on, I was thinking of... Lady Croft! That was an expensive present from your father. What is it? and dots. Those are my own numbers from the first group. Three, five, six, uh, seven. A grid reference. A map. Winston? Is this thing on? Give it in. It's okay. Ah, nice to see you both up. Yeah, well, there aren't many women who can get me up this early on a Sunday morning, Lara, and keep me up. Oh, Jax, I thought being part of such a short list makes me feel on warm inside. Have you got me? Based on the grid reference from your mind numbers, yeah. I've just uploaded the directions to your sat nav. They're all going well. It should be there within the next half hour. I've got to tell you, this place ain't easy to find. So it's going to get a little rugged. Whatever you do, follow the directions, okay? How rugged? After 100 yards, turn left. Keep left. Fancy getting wet today, Jax. If you can't see the entrance, it shouldn't be too far away. No. Okay. It should be alright from here. Okay, further... Further info, and I'll try and upload to your PDA. But your signal's not gonna be good down there. Oh, you're pretty much gonna be on your own. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. I have to do this, Winston. That's just the way it is.
I do hope she isn't wearing those shorts down there. They're so impractical. She's a big girl now, Winston. She can look after herself. Hey, man, is there any chance of a cup of... <coughs> tea?
Is that her? No, I lost the signal about a half hour ago, and that is a different frequency. Well, who is it then? Hostiles. to take. I don't know. I thought you might be able to tell me. Might you? Look who I found. Uh, Lara. I see you've come to terms of not getting the house. When are you moving in? Just a few modifications I've put in for now. Put her over there. relative of my father. You're a monster. Well, we are following in his footsteps, aren't we? Artifacts, monsters. Ooh! It's amusing how things turn around. I always thought you'd turn out a little more like me. You're nothing like you. You think so? Before time got the better of us, when he was in his prime, he was the best, the original Tomb Raider. You, well, you're nothing short of a cave raider. At least you got your answer, Lara. This is what was more important to Richard Croft than his daughter's life. So this is why you rescued me. Richard was never going to share this discovery. I knew you were far too valuable to be left to die in the Himalayas, as it was obvious that one day he would tell you where it was, and you'd be irresponsible enough to lead me to it. How he got word out to you from where he is, it's beyond me. What? He's alive? As we where discussed. Is he? Errol, tell me where he is. Errol! Errol, don't leave me down here! Move. Okay, stop there. Put them on. Cuff yourself to the railings. You don't have to do this. Stay there. Put those cuffs on. Isn't there another way? Embarrassed. It was my first time too. Sort 
I was knackered. I don't know, but time's running out. You must get out of here. I can't leave you. Yes, you can. You're the key now. You're the only one who can help them prepare to survive. Time is against us, dear, in more ways than you can possibly imagine. I believe in you. I've always believed in you. Now I'm asking you, I'm begging you, Lara. Face your fear. Face your fear and become everything you can be. Don't you ever worry about getting lost? All the time, but it doesn't stop me. When I get lost, I just look to the stars. And what if it's cloudy? Then I follow water. Water always leads somewhere. Usually to sanctuary.
bit further. Where do you find these places anyway? Evening. Things a girl has to do to get her hair right. <laughs> Without this, it's useless. And it's only a matter of time before he realises. I'm sorry we couldn't warn you sooner of your uncle's presence. It's all right. <sighs> Dealt with it. Oh. You didn't kill anyone, did you, dear? No. No one that didn't deserve it, anyway. Well, look, we might have an idea where he's going. You see, I took a closer look at your map. If you hold it up to the light, there's a name imprinted on it. Von Croy. He's in the middle of an archaeological dig in Mexico. Nara, oh, you're right. Lara, why do you insist on wearing those shorts? We're going to freeze when we land. Oh, that's when we land. Besides, they are my best assets. I think you both know that they aren't. Oh, Mother! Lara! <laughs> He's your father. Be polite. I don't want to see him before this holiday. What is it, father? I just wanted to say goodbye. Am I not allowed to do that? This is the first time since you were born that this house will be entirely empty. Apart from Winston. Well, it makes a change to be the one venturing across the globe instead. Ah, speaking of that. Now, I know you're not a huge fan of flying, dear. And St. Christopher, patron saint of travellers. So you have a safe journey. Thank you. I know I haven't been around lately, and uh, things haven't been as pleasant as in previous years. I apologise for that, Laura. And I know you think I don't care. But I just want you to know that through time, however hard things get, whatever anybody says to you, I want you to know that you will always be my angel. I love you, Lara Croft. I love you too, Daddy. I don't think you're going to be able to take the Hummer, though. It's all right, Jax. I think it's time I traded him for something a little more eco-friendly anyway. Perhaps I should arrange for your prescription to be sent to you, Lady Croft. That won't be necessary, Winston. Lara. Do you think there's enough time to save the world? Absolutely.
also rest. You need to come.